YouTube. I'm on my way to help the guys prune some sycamore trees. I can't stay the whole day. It's my daughter's birthday today. I'm very thankful that they can stay and do the fill that position that I used to fill. I'm thankful that they're there to, to work all day so I can work part of a day. Pruning sycamore trees, that's, uh, that's not a fun thing. What's up YouTube? I'm gonna do some pruning today and I did not even know that I was coming here to do what I'm about to do. So haters get ready to hate. Get the bleeps ready because this is a rare uh, thing what's about to happen. So the trees behind me, you can see them back there over the house and this tree right behind me. They're sycamore trees. Nobody really loves working on sycamore trees because they make you cough and choke. And they are suffering from a disease called anthracnose, which kills all of the terminal, you know, the, the tips, the tips die back. And they re-sprout and they die back and they re-sprout and they die back and it's like it's like it's like the herpes of tree diseases it it stays with them but it doesn't kill them and it looks terrible in the process so here's what i'm gonna do these here still look pretty good we've pruned them for years and we basically will just Cut the dead out of them and do a little bit of roof clearance and we'll we'll be treating them somewhat normal this tree here it has a more uh it's got a stronger dose of of the anthracnose see these are brand new green tips up here and yet the tips are already starting to die back in places you see it's just kind of half dead half alive that tree will actually treat somewhat normal we'll cut the dead out and we'll reduce it back uh, to green wherever we can. So this part, the part where the haters hate, is coming right up. Because this other tree is a bad, bad case of anthracnose disease. And it's a rare, rare occasion where we, we do an extreme pruning method. Talking about this tree right here. Okay. That's, this is the time for full bloom, right? The disease is so bad on that tree that you would not go up there and cut the dead out of that and leave those little sprouts. But with anthracnose, you can sort of trick the tree into a rush of growth by topping it. I know, I know. Haters hate. But in this particular case, when you top the tree and you strip off everything, it s triggers the tree into a rapid uh, re-sprouting. And for a short time, that, that re-sprouted, uh, all those new shoots are temporarily sort of immune to the tip dieback that the anthracnose does to the tree. And so if it, this is a really bad case, but if it works, what we'll end up with is a green geometric ball. Uh, and what it'll do is it'll give the guy shade on the hot side of the house in the afternoon. And so that's the purpose. And this has all been explained to him and uh, it's not something we really want to do. And he's ready to cut it down rather than than have it look like modern art but he also wants the shade so he's kind of torn there and so he's willing to have it look horrible for a little while have it look like a medieval weapon and then regrow into this green geometric ball and provide shade in uh, later summer so that's what we're about to do today i don't know if i'll ever show you this because uh, a lot of times people just want to argue but this is what we're doing today. In this particular case, this one, maybe even this one in the middle here, right there has to be reduced harder. 
and in this case a full-on hat rack this is not something we we do this is not good except in a very rare case and then it's still not good it's just what you're left with so probably going to talk too much about it and i don't know if i'll be understood even but it's probably better to work on understanding than it is to always trying to be understood you can see a great many years ago this tree was topped hard to tell but this is actually the regrowth this was cut off just like that and here's what we have years later same here see that's where it was cut out there right where it bends that's the regrowth see this is a newer sprout and this sprout was activated by the tree because of so much loss of foliage so much tip dieback caused by the disease now the new sprout which is probably two years old or maybe three you see it's under attack see that shrivel Try to free fall this stuff.
did that YouTube so that I could so I could get away with not rigging it. Climbed out a little bit to manage it by hand, I guess. You know what I'm saying? This is where it was topped anciently. Before ever we started coming here and tried to treat it normally. like the last one right there oh and a little one sticking out over there YouTube I'll try to show you this tree in a couple of months maybe I'll I won't post a video until I can show you uh, what it looks like then it leaves out this is not the method for for tree pruning you just don't go around doing this Hopefully I explain why we did it this time with this particular tree, with this particular problem and this particular client wanting shade, having none. And um, short time from now, shade, big mushroom. Going to block the whole sun on the whole house here. in all of its unglory and we'll come back in a couple of months and I'll show you how now the guy can have shade he'll have to maintain the thing but at least he'll have shade so the sun sets on this side every afternoon this is this is standing in the spot for the hottest part of the day
cut it down or, or do something with it. 99 times out of 100, I say cut it down. But that guy needs some shade in the afternoon and I know how to get it for him. So here we are now. This is October 1st and I'm back. And I can't really show it to you from over where I was before because of the sun. We'd be staring right into the sun. But with the sun behind me now, you can see that this tree that was so afflicted has now, it now has much more luxurious growth than the others. So it comes back strong with uh, its regrowth. This one here is probably, this one here is probably the next one that's gonna get the anthracnose sickness pretty bad, I think. It's not terrible yet though. We don't really wanna prune them harsh until we're kind of forced to. But these are key positions of shade here for him, so he's pretty stoked that he's got this placeholder of shade back. Even though it's kind of like a column now, it is a luxuriously green column. So here we are in the front, try to get the sun behind. There, it's blocking the sun, proving the whole point that it makes shade. You can see the difference in verdant Oh man, it's, I was amazed. I'm still amazed. Yeah, it's kind of cool to have a, a plan that works. Yeah. Kind of a non-typical. Anyway, there's the column of green. These are the ones that didn't need it. Someday they might. Yeah. And these here are probably the ones that need it next. Yeah, I think so. I've been... Thinking about calling you, it's really funny that you called because it's been on my mind to call you and look at this while it still had leaves on. Yeah. It.